Okay, so it happened. I got three gay lords. Oh, that light's really strong. I got three gay lords of mixed media. Not these books, but all of this. I was hoping for video games. I haven't seen too many on the top. Hopefully there's some on the bottom. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna dig into this. I don't have much time today, uh, but I'm gonna dig into it and see how long it takes me. So I've done one Gaylord. I've cleared one Gaylord. Um, sorted, I should say. Sorted one Gaylord in by myself, by the way, with no Gaylord tipper or Gaylord dumper. Um, in about, I believe I've done it in less than three hours. But I'm going to go after this for the next, like, 30 to 45 minutes and see where I get. Let's see. Here we go. Okay, so an hour in, and I pulled probably like 95% of the CDs. So we got a lot of stacks here. I have no idea how many this is. Typically there's, oof, it's gonna range, you know, 600 to 900. I've counted and I've gone up to like 900 in a mixed media one. Um, and uh, mixed media Gaylord. And this looks like it's a good mixture. So I'd say it's probably, I don't know, seven, 800. Um, yeah. And this is all DVDs. There's some CDs. There's going to be some CDs on the very bottom that I will pull out once I pull all the DVDs. It's just not worth it digging through this. I might as well just start stacking the DVDs, which is what I'm going to do now, or start to do. It's late. i got to go home. I'll pick this up tomorrow. So I'm an hour in. This is how far I've gotten. And we'll pick it up. Bye. So I finished it. As you can see, it's out here ready to get thrown out. Freed up this space now. And I'm gonna put another table here, a small table I have. Anyway, I'll talk about that in a second to move the CDs. So it took me probably all told about two hours roughly to clear the Gaylord. And what I end up with is all of this, which is all these CDs, this pile this pile and this pile were still in the Gaylord at the bottom when I finished it out. These are all video games, so not bad. Not a bad video game haul, who knows how good those are. I haven't looked them up yet. And that's all I had for TV box sets. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like there's gonna be a lot of TV box sets in here, but if I can get right around this amount for all three Gaylords, so if I can get two more stacks like this over here, what is this, one, two, three. It's like 25-ish here. So if I can get 75 video games, roughly, out of three Gaylords, I'd be really happy. And if there's some high-priced ones, even better, but that's good. If I can get 20, 25 each TV box sets, that's not bad. The rest of these are DVDs. I also pulled uh, Blu-rays, so hardly any Blu-rays. I had one, two, three, one, two, three, four. I had five Blu-rays, that's terrible. But what are you gonna do? I saw some more Blu-rays in the other ones, so hopefully those will do better. Not actually that many DVDs. Not that many. I mean, it is a lot, you know, uh, generally speaking. But based on what I've seen before, it's not that much. So now what I'm going to do is put a smaller table I have in this space. And I'm going to go through the CDs and put all the ones that I want to scan for Amazon barcode up. And the rest of them will be separated. They'll be separated into piles of... So basically two piles, one pile for my local sale. If there's ones, artists or groups that, or genres that I want to have for my local sale, I'll put that in a different pile. And the other pile will be ones that are really common. I see all the time. I'm just gonna pull the discs and create loose uh, CD lots or a lot or multiple lots probably once I'm done. Then I will auction those off on eBay. Uh, you know, I've tried a lot of different ways with getting rid of more popular CDs in, in their cases and with their artwork and hasn't really worked out that well for me. Um, I just don't feel like it's worth it uh, to pursue that anymore. So for now, I'm just gonna 
keep the good stuff, the stuff that I don't have or I might not have here locally for my local sale for CDs. And the rest of it's just gonna pull the, the discs and sell them on, on eBay. So I'll do that now. Take a little bit more time because these are all actually, the CDs are actually haphazardly stacked. They're neatly stacked, but they're not uh, facing up. So, um, but what I did with the DVDs, I actually did face them up because I wanted to pull the video games, the Blu-rays and the TV box sets from those and some random stuff that I threw out. Um, there was either missing discs. I didn't open them and look for the discs, but that I knew it was missing the disc or it was busted up or I already know that there's nothing I can do with it. Um, yeah, so let me get to that. See how long that takes. All right, guys, so I sorted the CDs and let me show you. These are the CDs. These are all the CDs from this one Gaylord <clears throat> into a couple different piles. So let me show you what I did. These are all the ones that have barcodes and that I want to scan for Amazon, for FBA and for Merchant Fulfilled. These are ones that I want to look up for Amazon and eBay but don't have barcodes, so thankfully it wasn't too many. This is a stack here that's uh, for local sale. And then these are all ones that I'm going to put, either pull, majority of them I'll pull the CDs from and put into loose, um, what do you call it? Uh, a loose disc eBay lot and auction it off. There'll be some that I've noticed, there's some trends that I might put together to do just a normal CD lot, but we'll see once I go through it. Now, once I finish scanning all these, there'll be a, a lot in here that I'll put in my local sale. It's just that I wanna check first to see what they're going for online. And then if it makes more sense for me to sell it here locally, I'll just price it for local sale and keep some of those and then some I'll, I'll, I'll send out. And then I had some over here that are Asian language. So some Chinese, there's, there's Vietnamese. I do well with the Vietnamese ones sometimes. And I pulled a couple of, uh, pulled a PlayStation, a couple of PC games. So that's it for now. Um, the next step is to scan for Amazon, you know, and deal with the rest of it and sort it out. But it's not taking too long, that's good. So we'll let you know once I finish all of that. Okay guys, now it's Monday. August 23rd, uh, it's uh, whatever, it's in the morning. And I'm finishing up with the CD. So I finished scanning all of them um, for Amazon. So let me show you. So this is what I have left. I've scanned, these are all the ones that uh, have barcodes that I um, thought were possible or worthy of scanning, I should say. The ones that um, you know weren't common titles. So I scanned all of those. These are the ones I already sorted out. Uh, this one's I'm gonna go through for local sale. These are gonna go in lots on eBay. I got classical, popular music type of deal. I'm just gonna auction it off. I'm not gonna do it, buy it now. Uh, big band, I probably, I might not do, but I also have some um, religious, I think I have, oh, Christmas and country. So some of these, of the CDs here that I scanned for Amazon are gonna go over here for the eBay lots. You know, classical, anyway, the stuff I told you about Christmas, various things. Uh, some will go my local sale uh, uh, that makes sense for me, either by genre or by artist. And so I'll just pull all those out um, or, you know, sort them out, basically. Now, if you're wondering how many actually ended up worthy of Amazon, this pile... here is for eBay. So I have four here that I'm going to list on eBay. It doesn't mean I won't find some in here. I might find some for eBay as well, but those are the ones that I found just by scanning with Amazon uh, using the Amazon app. Um, and these are the ones for eBay, uh, Amazon. So this is Merchant Fulfilled and this is FBA. So only 12 between Merchant Fulfilled and FBA, which is really, really low. So this was not a very good batch of CDs which might be the case for the rest of the other two Gaylords, which is unfortunate, um, but it happens. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how many I actually find um, or actually want to put in my local sale. So let me do that. See if I can do that pretty quickly. The, the dilemma is, or the thing that takes more time is having to replace cases. Because unfortunately, a lot of these have stickers, these ugly stickers, which are a pain to get off. I'd rather just replace the case with 
Uh, another case, if I'm gonna sell it here in my sale, I'm gonna sell it in a lot on eBay, I don't care, but locally I don't wanna have that ugly sticker on there. So I'm gonna start going through these, see how long this takes. Like I said, it can take a little bit longer because of the cases. Uh, and also the other thing is, there's gonna be CDs that I don't know what genre they fall into. So I'm gonna have to make a decision while I'm looking at it if it's even worth looking up. I feel, oh, well, you know, should that go into one of the genres I have? Because I have a lot of different genres over here, which is what is appealing to people when they come in to look for CDs is they can find something in a niche. Uh, you know, they can go to swing, they can go to, they can go to uh, Spanish language, they can go to R&B, they can go to hard rock, they can go to 80s, alt rock, etc. cetera. Um, Christmas, you know, all different types. Um, and, and so they can find stuff quickly, it's alphabetized, etc. So it's good for me to pull those out, but sometimes uh, what happens is I have a lot of extra restock CDs by genre, and I don't want that many more because I still have a lot to put out. Uh, so I kind of got to be a little more picky with that is what I'm realizing. But anyway, let me get to this, see how long this takes, and then I'll show you how I've sorted those out. Hey guys, so it is now Wednesday morning, a little after 9 a.m., and I finished sorting out all the CDs. The one thing I forgot to mention in the previous clip was, of course, checking the CDs. Number one, that they're there. Number two, how much wear they have. So that, of course, makes it take longer. So going through, so Monday I spent about a less than an hour or so. And then yesterday I spent a little over three hours finishing sorting out the CDs. Um, again, this is me sorting them out for uh, lots on eBay. Uh, and local sale in my in my um, in my warehouse. So let me show you what what it ended up coming out to. So this, all these CDs over here, all CDs that I'm gonna sell on eBay in lots. I've got eight, actually nine, well ten if you include loose discs. Ten different categories. So loose discs. These will all go together in one lot. I don't know how many there are there, over 300 probably, because I think those stacks are more than 300 each, so 350 maybe, something like that, a decent amount. And also, the other thing about this is, I've done as many as 1,000 or more. When you make the box really heavy at media, with media mail, uh, sometimes they will open them and they will destroy things, take it out, um, and not repackage it properly. So I try to do these in smaller batches now, so this worked out well. So these are all CDs from one gay lord that were either loose uh cds i i'm not going to sell in my local sale and i'm not going to try to sell in a, in a lot on ebay i just pulled those and that's all of these here and then these are all different genres so starting here i've got religious classical this tall tallest one as you can see there's always a lot of classical i've got big band um this is like Nature relaxation type stuff usually does okay. This is jazz. These are like, uh, but these are specifically collections of jazz. There was a good amount of those. Uh, so jazz music collections. This is country. Um, oh, this is this tall one here is Christmas. So I'm probably gonna do two different lots of Christmas. Probably two different lots of um, classical. And then this one is this is stuff that's like meditative, helping you sleep type stuff. So I'm going to try this out in one in one lot. See, guided meditation, sleep deeply, awakened mind system, deepened meditation. This is inside intuition. So they're all related, and uh, I'll do that together. And then this one here, these are popular, well-known artists in all different types of genres that I'm just going to do an auction with. Uh, we'll see how well I do. Uh, I'm not looking to make it. Well, of course, I'm looking to make good money. But um, usually I, I do these and buy it now and just wait it out. But I don't want to wait it out. I just want to get rid of them. So stuff like Miles Davis. Uh, is it Eli Golding? I think her name is. Uh, Harry Connick Jr. Bare Naked Ladies. Uh, offspring. So, you know, different types of stuff. Franz Ferdinand. Uh, Cheryl Crow. Bocelli. So... Yeah, a lot of different stuff here. So those are all lots for eBay. Uh, and that's the next thing I'm gonna do uh, today is to photograph all those and prepare them for eBay. And then over here, 
So, okay, so this is all individual stuff for eBay. Uh, not much here. One, two, three, four, five of those. Uh, these are ones by, by genre. And these are ones by artist or group. These are all ones that I'm going to go put on the floor across the room, which I showed you in other videos uh, for next week, for the week of my sale. And that's when I will put them out. However, I already put out a bunch of genre ones on this side. So this side here is genre stuff. So if you look here, you can see, you know, all these, all these little tags, um, jazz, international. I got karaoke. I got movie soundtracks, ragtime. I got opera, new age, oldies, uh, reggaeton, rock, you know, Spanish, all kinds of stuff here. Uh, and so those will go there. I've already put out at least 30 or more because they were just right here. So I started putting some out. Um, so some, so a lot of these will go out for the sale and then the, the one, these by group or, or um, artists will go on the other side. That's where I have it alphabetical uh, for the more well-known popular artists and groups. So that's where I am. So I'm gonna do uh, all these auctions right now. Probably what I'm gonna do is just gonna photograph them uh, and then actually list them at home on my computer, which will be a lot faster than doing it on my phone. Um, and so then I can also uh, put those CDs over there where I already have a bunch of DVDs to put out for next week's sale. And then I'm gonna start jumping into uh, the DVDs and I'll share that with you. So stay tuned. Okay guys, it's Friday, August 27th, 2021. It's almost 1 p.m. I finished with that first Gaylord. So I got it last Thursday. And today, Friday, I finished it. Um, it did not really take a whole week, <laughs> uh, but I guess I could say technically it did uh, in terms of work. But um, I did finish it completely. So this, this is taking all the contents out, sorting them, and then going through them, scanning through the CDs, um, uh, organizing the DVDs, going through all of them, checking the discs, etc. So now what I have let me show you, is over here, I've got DVDs piled up. So these ones here, these DVDs are going to go, um, if I can fit them all, going to go out on the sales floor, as are these kids ones, the ones that I don't have. These are new. I'm making a new HD DVD section. We'll see if those sell. Uh, and then these were all the ones that I mentioned before that were over on the table, but I put them over here now. All the CDs, these all came from that DVD. Ah, from that Gaylord, uh, that one Gaylord. So, and there's there's a few, oh, actually all of these, what am I saying? All these TV box sets, not the entire pile, but anyway, half of that. And that's it. Uh, well, over here, I have a small pile of stuff that I'm gonna list individually on eBay right here. One of those is a lot, but the rest of them are individual stuff. Uh, oh, and then I have more DVDs, uh, kids DVDs over here that I'm just gonna keep here for now. Uh, and then once I finish going through the other two Gaylords, I will add to these and see what I have for kids DVD lots on eBay to auction those off. I'm going to start building, I already started, but I'm going to continue to build a good size kids collection, DVD collection here in my local sale. I've had a few people buy them and I think I had someone ask about them. So... I don't have a huge collection, but I'm going to keep on growing it. Uh, really the good stuff, a lot of the Disney stuff. And I'm also going to do some older cartoon stuff like Tom and Jerry and those kind of classic cartoons as well. And yeah, so I'll build that as well and, and see what happens uh, just to have it available. And that's it. So it took me, so last Thursday I got the load and I really started working on it a little bit on Thursday, but um, if I remember correctly. But uh, but yeah, it took me about a week. So that that's... You know everything done with it um what i'm gonna do now in the afternoon what i'm doing it today in the afternoon after i go home and ship stuff is i'm gonna put everything i have out for the dvds and the cds again my sale is next week a week from today so if all goes well i will put out today by the end of today i'll put out all the dvds i have i've packed all the shelves as you can see here i have some space over here um where people bought stuff during the last sale. There's space, there's some space, <laughs> a good amount, uh, some space for the TV box sets, Blu-rays, um, et cetera, et cetera. So I'll put out as much as I can. 
The stuff I can't fit, I will just box up and put in the corner there where I have already have <coughs> additional DVDs as well. The CDs should all fit because um, I do have plenty of room for those, even though I still have lots of CDs on the racks, but um, those should all fit. Um, and once I do all of that, assuming I can finish that today, all I'll have left for my sale in terms of stocking up is books. So the books I will do next week, um, yeah, hopefully sooner than later in the week, uh, just so I can be done with it. I can basically stock up the books in about a day, but it will takes about a whole day because I've got, um, I actually do have some books to go through over here, a few, but I've got boxes of books <clears throat> stacked up in the bathroom there, boxed up, I don't know, a dozen or so. And I'm going to slowly go through those and add those um, to the shelves out here for my next sale. But that requires um, a couple things. So organizing them by, anyway, I just realized I'm going off on a tangent. You know, I have to organize them by genre and then alphabetize them, put them in the sections, alph alphabetical. And I put little stickers on them so I know how long they've been out there. Anyway, that's it for that. But yeah, the Gaylord, this is a video about a Gaylord emptying the Gaylord sorting it out, being completely done for what my purposes are, which is um, local sale, eBay, and Amazon. So yeah, so it took me about a week, not too bad. Um, if I had had all day, every day, I could probably have done it in less than a week. You know, if I had had all Thursday, Friday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't work like that. <laughs> That's not how it goes for me anyway. But um, I would say, I mean, if you're not doing what I'm doing, if you're just doing online stuff, you're just doing Amazon, eBay, and that's it, then you can probably do it a lot quicker because you can, um, you can just, you know, just deal with Amazon, which is going to be not that much, and then the rest can go on eBay. <clears throat> so yeah, thanks for watching, guys, for this very long video. I appreciate it. We'll see you next time. Take care.